Good afternoon, everyone. So let me start my my sharing by a simple question. So uh, who in this room want to be rich? Can you raise your hand? Mm, not many as I expected. But that's the dream, right? Have enough money so you don't have to work. Have enough money so you can shopping without looking at the price. Have enough money so you can eat whatever you want. <laughs> So I'm Tiến, I'm Head of Growth Marketing at Timo Digital Bank. For those who don't know, we focus on personal finance. So we talk with a lot of customers. We talk to people from the north to the south. We talk to people who are heavy in debt, to people who tens a million dollars in their account. And today I'm here to share with you guys three stories from what I discovered with my customer. So the first story is about a customer who achieved financial freedom around 30 years old. Uh, this guy worked for his family business since he graduated and he invest all he earned money into real estate and he did very well. Uh, by 30, he already had three rental house and the income from rental far exceeds far exceed her he needed to spend so he no longer need to work. So after a long conversation, we clearly saw that he had no problem with financial, no pro financial problem. I asked him just totally out blue how the feeling when you get financial freedom you must be so happy at that time right and no he said not many so why i asked and at that time he looked straight into my eye and he say after a long pause yeah it's true that it's quite cool when you don't have to get up early to work but besides that i still don't have what i really want to have so you can say that not much different not much happier and when I discussed more with him, his story is something like that. He was born in a family who do business. His parent and his older brother is excellent in making money and very smart people. He considered like the least intelligent person in the family. And he says that when he was a kid, he always feel he was looked down. And when he grow up, he feel not respected. And all the money he made, it seemed far less than the money his parent or his brother made. So he said that, so after everything, I seen a, fa a failure, just as just night before, so nothing changed. But that time I can understand why achieve financial freedom not help him much. And it's something quite strange that it, when I become a banker and I heard Carly's story of my customer, I just found something interesting. In most of the case, money is not about money. In most of the case, when people say that they need more money or they financially poor, what they really mean is that something else missing. In the story of my client, what missing is that he poor in the relationship. He suffer from the poverty in the relationship with his family. Many people come to us as a bank to ask advice about how to make more money. And normally we ask all of them a simple question. In what area you really think you are poor at? If you cannot answer this question, all the money making effort you make likely will be meaningless for you. The second story is about an extremely young and happy girl. <clears throat> when I met her one year ago, something like that, she, uh, she spent all everything she earned into hobby like traveling and go out with friends and meditate things so on and so on. And she said that she thinks this universe is so rich and life is for experiencing, not for worry. Now at this point of the story, you may already guess the next part of it. One year later, when the economy become difficult, her income from finance stop go down, stop go down. Her parents get sick and need to go to hospital. The medical bill start skyrocket. And she was forced to, uh, to go for, go looking for a job, apply for a job. But sadly, after half a year, she not yet able to find any. And the happy girl I met now no more. In front of me is a girl who full of sadness, full of regret, and full of stress. She told me that one day she come home and both her parents are sick. And her mother asked how many money she had in her, her bank, her saving account. And she did not dare to tell the truth that almost nothing after seven years of working. At that time, she feel totally terrible about herself. I couldn't. Her story is something about, about unsustainable wealth. 
something about the illusion of the well. It's something beautiful, but if you just slightly touch it, it's blow away. And I think the lesson from this story is that if you find the well, let's try to find the real well. Don't find the illusion of it, because pursuing the, the illusion of well will likely bring you the satellite and regret after that. And that's the second story. And about the third story, the third story is about Tom. How many you, how many you guys here feel that you not yet rich, not yet rich? Mm, so many people you rich already. Do you come to find me after that? Uh, mm. So uh, good news that you are guy not alone. I talk with many people who income tens of thousands USD and they still feel the same. And I have a friend who 36 years old, uh, holding a very high position in international big corporation. So it's not really difficult to, to predict that her salary is very high. And as a banker, I know that very few people can have this level of salary as high as her. And when I ask her, do you feel rich? And her ans she answered something like that. When I first graduated in 2010, I think that when I have 50,000 USD, I will feel rich. And when I have this amount of money, I think when I have my own house, I will feel rich. Now I have it, I will still not yet feel rich. And now my milestone keep go further and further. And the question is still the same. When I can feel rich? When I can feel rich is a very good question, right? And what's the answer? 40 years old, 50 years old, 60 years old, something like that, right? Uh, we are educated that we should work hard, save some money and invest. And if we're lucky, we will reach somewhere around 40, 50 or 60, something like that, right? But what if we die by car accident before 40? So does that mean that we live all our life in poverty? Of course not. I think it's a terrible wrong way of thinking. The right way I think is that we should live rich right now for the rest of our life. Right now when you're 18, right now when you're 25, or right now when you're 35 like me. So that's how similar, right? Yeah, because it's on the uh, Zen guru or Zen master say, be happy right now at this moment and now. But the question, how can I be rich right now and for the rest of our life? How can I do that? Let me tell you a secret that very few bankers will tell you. The foundation of a rich life is lie in life balance, not bank balance. Few bankers will tell you that. But that's the truth. It's something, the balance between those, some elements like that. Um, you can see that life is something very like a wheel. Thinking like, I will focus on making money first, other things later. Oh, I'm young. I want to experience first. I say money later. Oh, I will forget my health a little bit. I will take it later. All of those thinking give you a distorted will. And we all know distorted will will not, cannot rotate far and cannot rotate well. But on contrary, when you think of the balance, you can achieve the well and the rich life anytime. Let's say that you are 18 years old or you 20 something. Likely that you don't have one million dollars in your bank account, right? But it's okay. It's not, it doesn't mean that you live in, in poor life. You still can live a rich life. You, if you rich in relationship, if you rich in lifestyle, if you rich in health. And maybe I have more money than some of you here uh, at 18. But it doesn't mean that I live, my life is as rich as yours. And it's back to my client's story. If at 30, you don't have, you did not have three rental house like my client, it's okay. If you have, let's think about that. If you have a, a happy family who respect you, who love you, between you and him, who is richer and who is happier, let's think about that. And before ending my speech, I just want to say a few lessons I learned after college. Talk with my client. Hope it may help you. I think there's some principle I learned. One, before starting, asking yourself first what really you are poor about before you starting do anything. Secondly, please pursuing the real well. Don't pursue the illusion of it. 
especially when social media make it look cool, but don't. Start living rich right now for, for the rest of your life. Don't wait till 40 or 50 or 60. I'm 35 and either my friend already died. It's scary, right? We don't know to, next year I'm dying or not. So, well, and even I let's say I died 40 and I let's say I'm not rich right now, let's say that. So is it true that 60% of my life live in poverty? This thing is terrible, right? And the final, welcome from Berlin, but not Bank Berlin. That's a banker say. So that's the end of my talk. I wish you guys all have a rich life, all enjoy. Thank you.